Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Android App Arena episode 53 for Wednesday, July 8th, 2015, in the kitchen. This episode of Android App Arena is brought to you by Prosper. Prosper is a peer-to-peer -peer lending marketplace which connects people who are looking to borrow money with those who have money to lend. Visit prosper.com slash twit and receive a $50 Visa gift card when you get a loan. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell. Do you like to cook? Maybe you like the idea of cooking, but you aren't very good at it. Maybe you think it sounds awesome, but spending time in the kitchen seems like a bit more work than heading out of the house, throwing down a debit card for dinner at a fancy restaurant. Let me tell you from experience, that last option is expensive, particularly if you do it all the time. A big part of the problem then, uh, you know, when it comes to the work required to cooking for yourself is planning. And planning isn't easy. It requires a little bit of focus and a good sense of what you actually need to pull off a good meal. Ingredients, to tools, to information, to time, all that stuff. Well, today I found three awesome Android apps that will help you on all of those fronts. The first will hold your hand and guide you in shopping for the proper ingredients and arm you with awesome recipes that aren't so challenging. The second provides invaluable information on demand that'll protect you and the people that you're feeding. And the third is just an incredibly effective tool that you will use literally every time you cook. Let's take a look at three awesome apps to help you in the kitchen in this week's roundup. First up, when you're planning a meal to make at home, the more information you have, the better. For so long, we've envisioned a magical refrigerator that knows just what food is inside, can offer up recipes based on that food. That way, we don't have to do all the hard work for coming up with something ourselves. But check this out. Cookbright aims to help with meal planning by logging the food you already have and offering suggestions based on those ingredients, along with a shopping list of the things to pick up. First off, you'll give the app a number of ingredients that you have in the home to start with. Then you're taken to the hub and you can tap think and you'll start to organize tonight's meal. You can select a number of people uh, who are eating with you, uh, when you'd like to eat, what types of food that you're interested in, and ingredients that you want to definitely be included. Leaving that blank is going to leave your options totally open. Now tap Get Recipes, and now you'll see a carousel of recipes to pick from. You can choose up to five recipes to include in your entire meal. Tapping into a meal actually shows you all the ingredients, the recipe in full uh, as a preview. Now I'll tap the plus on one recipe here, and then I'll continue. Now we get an itemized list of ingredients in that recipe with ingredients Cookbrite knows we already have checked off. Item by item, you can swipe left if you have it, and write if you don't. Confirm, and now your shop list is filled with the items that you still need to pick up. When you shop to pick up those items, you can even scan the grocery receipt and it'll fill in the blanks and update those things for you inside the app. And when you're ready to cook, you can then jump right in and follow the directions step by step. Now, when you're all done cooking, the app will automatically update your home list to remove the portions that it knows you've already used inside this recipe, keeping things pretty current for future recipes. Cookbrite can be found in the Play Store for free. Now, it's one thing to know what you have in your pantry and your refrigerator. It's another thing to know if it's still edible. Should you eat a chicken breast that's been thawed for more than three days? That answer in a second. Uh, navigating this type of information is a veritable minefield because every food type is totally different. And meats have different rules when you cook them, some requiring a higher internal temperature than others. 
And that's why the U.S. Department of Agriculture developed the app called Food Keeper. And for an app that was created by a government entity, I have to say they did a fantastic job adhering to very modern app design aesthetics, even incorporating some touches of material design in there. For the main screen, you're presented with a number of food categories, things like dairy products, meat, poultry, seafood, vegetarian proteins, and the list goes on. The floating action button is a search functionality if you simply want to jump to the food item in question. I'll go ahead and tap into poultry, which then reveals modifiers. Is it fresh? Is it cooked? Processed? Is it shelf stable? Let's go with fresh and then chicken whole, though all parts of the chicken are listed as options. And we now see that a whole fresh chicken should be consumed within one to two days or 12 months if kept frozen. Swiping left shows you cooking info that advises cooking that chicken breast at 350 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes per pound until it reaches an internal temperature of 165 degrees. And that's just the chicken breast. Fruits and vegetables, pasta and grains, condiments. I mean, this app covers them all and the insight given is invaluable in that it keeps the meal safe and it makes sure that the food that you eat is as fresh as it can be. Finally, if you have any questions you wanna actually ask someone about it, this button here takes you to Ask Karen where you can search a knowledge base and even fire off a question of your own. Food Keeper is free right now in the Play Store. And finally, I went digging for a nice tool that could be used while you're cooking. Of course, we probably aren't going to use our tablet to cut a sandwich in half or to stir the batter. But one thing that technology can totally help with is keeping track of time. And there's not a lot of options for good modern kitchen timers in the Play Store, sadly. But I did find one that does things a bit different from the rest. Time, spelled like the spice, kitchen timer, recognizes that a good chef might in fact be using all four burners and the oven at the same time. So a good kitchen timer should take all of those sources into consideration. That's what we have here. From the main screen, you get the digital layout of your stovetop and oven. If you just started some pasta on one of the burners, let's say, just tap the burner that you started it on and then swipe around the circle to add the time needed to cook. Oh, and you just threw the duck breast in the oven. So again, tap the oven and swirl your finger over the timer until you see the proper amount of time. As you set them, the main screen shows the current time remaining for each burner and the oven. You also get a nice notification as things move along, keeping you in the know. That's a nice feature that Android Wear users will appreciate seeing on their wrist. When one of the burners hits zero, a ringing sound will fire and your device might just vibrate itself off the table until you hit done. And the other timers, of course, continue doing their job. And that's about it. The visual layout makes perfect sense for keeping track of what timer belongs to what dish, and it's completely free. Find time, spelled T-H-Y-M-E, kitchen timer, in the Play Store now. So there you go. You can thank me later when you're executive chef of your household and your customers are applauding your culinary skill. Make sure to tell them that a little tip Never hurt either. All right, before we move on, let's thank the sponsor of today's episode, and that is Prosper. Face it, there aren't many good ways to borrow money when you need it. Friends, family, credit card companies, traditional bank loans. But now with a low fixed rate loan with Prosper.com, there's a better way. You can borrow up to $35,000 in as few as five days and use the money for just about anything you desire. You can pay off high rate credit cards, fix up the house, you can put it into your business, Personally, I could totally use some money to remodel a few uh, rooms in our house, maybe finish some of the landscaping that I've started this summer. Prosper's online marketplace connects people who need money with those who want to invest in you. You don't rake up more debt on your credit cards. You pay them off with Prosper. To check your low rate instantly without affecting your good credit, just go to prosper.com slash twit. Now and for a limited time, Prosper is offering twit viewers a $50 Visa gift card with your low interest loan. You can get up to $35,000 in your account in as few as five days and a $50 Visa gift card. Just go to prosper.com slash twit for this special offer just for twit viewers. And we thank Prosper for their support. All right. After you're done sweating away in the kitchen, you'll need to take a break. A frantic, heart-pounding break. The kind you'll enjoy when you check out this week's big app. 
This week I've been enjoying a new game that's filled with fast paced arcade action and honestly some of the most stunning environments I've seen on my little Android screen to date. Last November, the hit multi-directional shooter called Geometry Wars 3 was released on console and desktop PC and now Android gets its triumphant release. Your ship is placed in the center of the playing field, a ginormous three-dimensional space that rotates as you maneuver around it, frantically, I might add. Every level sports a different type of arena, keeping things varied and challenging. Using either single stick or dual stick controls, you can move your ship around and fire at a constant stream of bad guy formations that appear out of thin air, of course, trying to avoid slamming into them as they appear, and they follow these predetermined paths of movement that make it a challenge to avoid. The more baddies you destroy, the more points you score, moving you up in the ranks from zero to three completion stars and ultimately on to the next level. As you destroy the bad guys, you'll pick up scattered gems which tax on multipliers to your haul, raking in even more points. You can drop bombs to eliminate everything on the screen, though you'll score no points for that destruction, but you will get some of those gems to pick up. Adventure Mode packs 50 plus levels to keep you very busy and they're all very difficult. There are other game modes too, Deadline, which is a time trial. There's King, which limits you to one single life and limited firepower. Evolved, where you score as much as you can with only three lives. There's Passivism, where you have no firepower at all, but you use gates to destroy the bad guys. And Waves, where you're given one life with which to do your nastiest against waves of bad guys. That's why they call it Waves. The action is intense, and so is the soundtrack, and everything looks sharp, and at times, ain't gonna lie, a little dizzying. This is arcade quality action that's perfect for touch, but if you have a Bluetooth controller, it actually supports that too. Definitely check out Geometry Wars 3 in the Play Store now for $4.99. I actually get so sucked into playing Geometry Wars 3 that the tips of my fingers hurt when I'm done playing. It's really hard to play so frantically and not push my fingers into the screen as I drag my ship around. I'm kind of surprised that I haven't cracked my screen in the heat of the moment. Please don't do that. All right, send me your favorite apps, games, categories, anything you have to arena at twit.tv. I'm always reading the submissions there, and I do appreciate it. You can also post those to the subreddit at androidapparena.reddit.com and share them with me and the rest of the world because everyone can see it there. The show records live every Wednesday around 4.30 p.m. Pacific following Tech News Tonight. That's at twit.tv slash live. And if you can't make the live taping, the show will appear later that evening in the feeds and on the show page. That's twit.tv slash arena. All right, that's it, folks. Thank you so much for joining me once again today. My name is Jason Howell, and I'll see you next week in the arena.